Hello everyone, it's me, Louie of Louie Man Gaming, and I'm back with more of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Almost started a new game there, I'm like, wait, what the hell am I doing? You, if you befriend a dog, it may lead you, lend you some, lead you something interesting, lend you something interesting. Oh! Okay. Oh, I got a better plan. And he tries. Oh my God, do I try? I try all the time in this institution. And he prays. Oh my God, do I pray? I pray every single day. Nah. I love that video, the where He-Man is singing What's Going On by the Furlon Blondes. I love that video. <laughs> the lip syncing is awesome. Yeah, this new controller I have, it's not a wireless one. So I can't really turn it like that. But at least it doesn't drift. Oh, look. Chuckles, I think they're called. Oh uh, yeah, Chuck you. Chukus, I think. <laughs> that He-Man parody that um, the original creator made. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm embarrassed by that. Okay, next question. <laughs> Get, I want to get this amber and this. Ah, oh, damn! I could have got the cricket, but I didn't. I, I really hope if, if they make a He-Man reboot, like I don't know if I'm not hoping for a He-Man reboot, but I hope if they do, it's connected to the Shira um reboot. I mean, Kevin Smith, I heard he was going to make a He-Man reboot. But can we get Noelle Stevenson on board for this one so that it could be connected to the She-Ra series? i also like to kind of see the um, He-Man characters in the 2018 She-Ra style. Like, I can picture Skeletor and He-Man in that. Hordak! Uh, yes, I can, because he's already a She-Ra character. In fact, he was originally a She-Ra character character, and then, and he was also in, um, the 2002 He-Man series, he's the one who actually, um, 
saved Skeletor's life. Let's go inside the shrine right here. Well, 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 what do we got here? Buttons. You, to who sets foot in this shrine, I am Reed D, I am, ah, oh, crap. Okay, timing is critical. Let me put on some clothes. Okay. Oh no, look at this. Look, I'm He-Man from the two th from the New Adventures of He-Man. I don't know what year that one was made in, but the character designs are bad in that show. I like the character designs in like the 2002 series, though. Hordak looked badass. In fact, I'd say Hordak looks like a character that would fit in Mortal Kombat. Honestly, I'd say he looks more like a Mortal Kombat character than John Rambo. Honestly. Plus, if you... Oh, look. There goes the ball in the hole. And also, if you wanted to put, um... Make it so that there was a character theme of 80s characters, you could actually somewhat do it with, um... With Hordak. Because Hordak originated from the 80s. There we go. Wait, wait for me. Let's -a go. Oh no, wait, that's Mario's line. Link doesn't have any lines. Except for Hey, excuse me, princess. But we don't talk about that. The Zelda cartoon was bad. Oh no! Oh no! Here's what I'll do. I'll walk, I'll be standing on this little plat moving platform right here, and then... I don't care what they do with the He-Man reboot, as long as they don't ruin my boy Skeletor, I'm fine. What is it? What is it? Climber's bandana. Nice. We got a headgear. I guess I might as well. Let 
pull off my magic sword. My name is Adam. Oh crap, crap. <laughs> crap. Okay, I'm gonna try this. There. Frickin' Donkey Kong. I'm just gonna be waiting for that th that platform. Okay, I'm gonna get the spirit orb, right? That's what they're called? Yeah. First I need to get something to eat. Oh no, wait. If I collect it, it'll just heal me. So there's nothing, no, no point wasting food just to heal. Your resourcefulness is overcoming this trial. Uh, okay. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow you upon the spirit orb. Thanks a lot, Raiden. Thanks a lot, Lord Raiden. I appreciate that. May the goddess smile upon you. Hold on. May the god. I can't do Raiden's voice. I can't even do the Christopher Lampert one from the 90s movie. The live action one. The first live action Mortal Kombat movie was good. The second one was terrible. It seemed like everyone on the first movie had a lot of fun. Especially the actors who played as Johnny Cage. Raiden and and um, Shang Tsung. Their acting was great. Traveler's bow. Okay, is there anything I can get rid of? Uh, I think I might as well drop one of these traveler bows and take this one. Okay, I'm done here. But anyway, that is a wrap for this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this one and comment. Tell me what you think. Ciao, Louis is out of here.